They told you, we will bleed you with a thousand cuts, they are working for their agenda. What the hell is your agenda? Spell it out to yourself and act upon that. When something like Bulwama happens, I think initially we have a lot of outrage against it and gradually from being victims, we start feeling guilty or an oppressor. And a lot of complexities come in and it seems a very fuzzy view after that and a nation feels very confused what should be their reaction to terror. Say, the problem is right now, you're referring to, we're taking Pulwama as an example, you're calling this terror. But I want you to understand this, this is a planned agenda. This is not terror as far as they are concerned. They are trying to fulfill their goals in a very planned way. They did not keep it, even keep it a secret. They told you, we will bleed you with a thousand cuts. <laughs> so it is not terror, it is an agenda that they are fulfilling. They are doing what they believe is the right thing to do. Because if somebody is willing to die for something, obviously they believe strongly enough to die for it. So they are doing what they believe is the right thing to do. Now, from your st standpoint, are you doing the right thing that is good for this nation is something you must decide. There is no need to get excited about this, there is no need to… you just get some satisfaction by labeling somebody a terrorist. I want you to understand, somebody is working, life or death, they are working for their agenda. What the hell is your agenda? Spell it out to yourself and act upon that. What is it? Well, for over a century we fought for the independence of this nation. To make this nation free, we worked for over a century. A lot of life was sacrificed. Due to lack of vision, we sacrificed many more after we got our independence in the name of partition. Now, with one partition, you have seen a million people, over a million people dead and over fifteen million people crossing borders from both sides, suffering, human suffering is human suffering for me. It doesn't matter which side has happened. So people have suffered and in seventy years, still a whole lot of them are still not even settled on both sides of the border. And how is it that we have such a short sense of memory that we can once again talk of another break? So we must decide this. In my heart is very clear. First one thing is make it clear to all the Indians what is India and what is not India. Please do this. Don't keep the ambiguity continuing forever. Just one hundred percent, this is our country, this is not our country, let us focus on what we do… need to do for the well-being of these people, rather than going on endlessly debating, where is the border, how long will you debate? Two generations of people are gone after independence and still you're debating the same thing, this is the time. If nation's consciousness in somehow awakened because of a, a shocking incident, please make up your mind now and work for that goal because the sovereignty of the nation is important. For me, within my heart, well, we have… it would be fantastic if we lived here as global citizens and we're capable of embracing each other and living here wonderfully, that would be fantastic. But we have not come there. Still, nation is the largest human entity you can address. If you want to address human well-being, you can only address it as a nation. You cannot address it as a globe, we don't have the mechanics to do such a thing. So. This nation, over 1.3 billion people, is a world by itself. So if we want to take these people towards fulfillment of their lives in this generation, the most important thing is we decide in terms of geography what is our nation, what is not our nation and what do we stand for, for this. So protecting this is our business and our duty. Unfortunately, if cruel things happen, they happen. It is not our intent, I am not even talking about retribution, uh, revenge, no, this is not our nature. But solution for this nation is important. That people of this nation can prosper is an important duty that the leaders of this nation owe to every citizen in this country. For that, it is very important that our borders are quiet because the service and sacrifice of our soldiers is the basis, it is upon that foundation 
that you write your poetry, I do my spirituality, he does his yoga, somebody does his business. For all this, the basic foundation is the stable situation in the country. If we don't create that, we are failing in our fundamental duty, we are not being peaceful, we are just being naive.